Hello everybody, we are going to talk about asymptoms in a function and we have three types of asymptoms, one uh, vertical, one horizontal and one uh, linked. And uh, the first asymptom we are going to talk about is horizontal, it's a vertical asymptom. Is a vertical asymptom if y equals to f divided by g of x f of x then vertical vertical asymptom is g g of x equals to zero g of x equals to zero the rods example y equals to two divided by x then x equals to zero gives y axis is vertical asymptom And uh, generally, if y equals to a divided by x two k <coughs> minus one, then uh, limits x goes to zero equals to plus minus infinite and uh, y equals to a divided by a 2k x 2k limits limits x goes to zero it is uh, inf uh, uh, infinite and the example y equals to 2x minus 1 divided by x2 minus 4 um, then x2 minus 4 equals 0 and x equals to plus minus 2 uh, is 2 line parallel to y axis another example y equals to x2 minus 4x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 power by 2 and uh, x minus 1 power by 2 equals to 0 then x equals to 1 And then Another example is, uh, it's going so quick, y equals to x2 minus 4x plus 3 divided by x minus 2, then uh, uh, x minus 2 equals to 0, uh, then uh, x equals to 2 is a vertical uh, asymptom but but 
if we see in uh, definition x2 minus 4x plus 3 must be greater than equal 0 then what this this is x minus 1 x minus 3 then uh, x less than equal to 1 and x greater than equal to 3 then df equals to minus infinite 1 union to 3 plus infinite and you see that x doesn't belong to uh, this set uh, defined then uh, we tell that uh, y hasn't any uh, vertical asymptote uh, vertical asymptote We are going to have another example. Y equals to third squared x3 minus x plus 1 divided by x3 minus 2 x0. Then uh, x3 minus 2x equals 0, then x is 0, and x is plus minus 2 squared. And uh, also we see that df uh, is uh, R minus minus two square zero and plus two squared and x y has three asymptoms vertical asymptom x zero y uh, x zero which is y axis and x equals to plus minus uh, two squared and it is parallel, uh, two lines parallel to y-axis. Now we have another example, y equals to 2x2 plus 1 divided by x2 plus ax plus b uh, we will find A and B and uh, x equals to 2 uh, is a vertical asymptote, vertical asymptote. Then we put x2 plus ax plus b equals to zero then uh, x one two equals to minus e half plus minus a two four minus b is the uh, minus a half plus minus a2 minus 4 b divided by 4 and uh, one of the answers is 2 And uh, and uh, 
i is plus. Then uh, here we see that this one Then we have uh, minus a plus minus a2 minus 4b divided by 2 equals to 2. Then uh, minus a plus minus a2 minus 4b equals to 4 plus a and we put away this one then uh, a2 minus 4b equals to 4 plus a power by 2 <coughs> And uh, B equals to 4 plus A power by 2 minus A4 divided by minus 4. But here But here, I don't need these two things. Because we have a, a y goes to plus infinite, then this part, this. This must be 0. A2 minus 4B is 0. Then minus A half equals to 2. Then A is minus 4. And put it here. B is uh, 4. This is the tricks. If it was a... Uh, if it, y goes to plus min and minus, then it uh, was uh, goes uh, so long. But when y has only plus infinite, then this must be zero. Okay. Another way Another way is when x x equals to 0 x equals to 2 x equals to 2 and it is the uh, one of the solution of uh, this part of this part then we have it x2 plus a x plus b equals to x minus 2 divided by 2 which is x2 minus 4x plus 4 then a it is uh, it is uh, 
uh, it is like and x a is minus 4 and b is 4 it is another solution because x equals to 2 x equals to 2 is a rot of the dominator equals to 0 then uh, it is this and it is this Now we have another example. Now we have another example. Y equals to x2 plus q divided by px2 minus q plus 3 x plus q. We will find p and x. Then when x equals to half, y is plus infinite. It is that uh, p x2 minus q plus 3 x plus q equals 0, then x minus half power by 2 is this one is this one we can tell that which is x2 minus x plus 1 fourth then P equals to 1, Q Q Q equals to one fourth or uh, Q plus three is one. Sorry. Q divided by P is one fourth, and uh, Q P is one. Then P is four Q. And here is Q plus 3 is 3. It is a, a right table a, a tablet and uh, my hand touch it. It's going to be crazy. Okay, uh, it was uh, PX2 minus Q plus 3 
x plus q equals to zero is perpendicular to x minus half power by two, which is x two minus x plus one fourth. Then q plus three divided by p equals to one and q divided by p equals to one fourth and uh, here p equals to four q and put it here it is q plus three equals to four q then q equals to <coughs> 1 and p equals to 4. Another solution is that uh, put the uh, b b2 divided by 4 minus a C which is Q plus three power by two divided by four minus Q P equals to zero. And also that uh, x equals to one half gives uh, p one fourth minus q plus three half plus q equals to zero. which give us p equals to 6 minus 2q and put it on here it gives us this Uh, the last example for uh, vertical asymptom is uh, y equals to x minus 2, x2 plus ax plus 8 minus 8, minus 8, um, x not 2, and we will find x only one vertical asymptom. Then the dominator must be zero equals to zero, then uh, minus a half plus minus a two divided by four plus eight. 
and uh, and also x equals to 2 give us 4 plus 2a minus 8 equals to 0 and uh, a equals to 2. And put it on here. And here also a2 plus 32 equals to 0. It cannot be 0. It is positive. It is positive. This one is positive. Then we go through this one. Then y equals to x minus 2 divided by x2 plus 2x minus 8, which is x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 4. And those two take each other, and y equals to 1 divided by x plus 4, and x equals to minus 4 is Verti, vertical asymptote and it is the only vertical asymptote and because it has done only and also x is not 2 x is not 2 ok now we are going to study about the Horizontal The uh, uh, horizontal asymptote in a function is uh, is uh, y equals to f of x divided by g of x uh, when uh, when f of x greater than equal to g of x and uh, where we find when x goes to plus minus infinite. Example, y is 2x2 minus 3 divided by x2 minus 2 and x goes to plus minus infinite. It is uh, uh, corresponding to 2x2 divided by x2, which is 2. Then uh, y equals to 2, it is parallel uh, with x-axis, and it is a, a horizontal asymptote. The another is, uh, example is uh, y equals to 3x2 plus x minus 1, 
and it is x3 plus 2, x goes 2 plus minus infinite, and it is uh, perpendicular, it is uh, corresponding to 3x2 divided by x3, uh, which is 3 divided by x, and uh, goes to plus minus infinite. and goes to zero, goes to zero. It must be less than. It must be less than or equal. Less than or equal. Okay. Now we are going to have another example. Uh, mm, y equals to squared x2 minus 5x plus 7 divided by 2x minus 4 x goes to plus minus infinite and it is uh, corresponding to x2 divided by 2x, which is absolute x, divided by 2x, and uh, equals to plus minus half. Now we are going to discuss about the another uh, functions y equals to x minus 2 plus squared x2 minus 2x plus 5 x goes to plus minus infinite. This one is x minus 2 plus x minus 1 or minus because the, the old we have a, a we have a square uh, uh, correspondent and uh, here is going to be equal to equal to minus one. And it is the only value. Another example, y equals to 4x2 plus 2 plus x2 minus 2x minus 3x. This is 2x 
plus x minus 1 minus 3x it is uh, 3x 3x it is minus 1 again now we are going to have a good example y equals to a minus 1 x 3 plus a minus b plus 2 x2 plus 4 uh, to understand uh, those uh, those examples with uh, squared uh, you are going to go through my uh, uh, the uh, video function correspondent and you can find the uh, repeat and uh, remind be reminded of uh, those uh, uh, correspondence uh, and use it here and see that it is true. So we will uh, find A and B uh, so that uh, so that uh, it's going to be when x goes to plus minus infinity and it is the uh, it is the uh, pepin uh, it is a uh, corresponding a minus 1 power by uh, x power by 3 But we have told that uh, if we want have a uh, have a, a horizontal uh, asymptote, then the nominator it must be less than dominator. But we see that nominator is uh, bigger than. Then this one must be equals to. 0 then a a equals to 1 now we can see now we can see that y is a minus b plus 2 divided by 2 and this is equals to 2 then uh, a is 1 uh, 3 minus b equals to 4 then b equals to minus 1 Then y equals to four uh, x two plus four divided by two x two plus five. Okay. y equals to ax plus b plus squared x2 minus 6x plus 1. x goes to minus, two, minus infinite, it is 2. This is
in just a second. I must check something. Okay, so. It is uh, corresponding to AX plus B uh, plus minus X plus 3. But X goes to inf minus infinite, then uh, it is minus here. Then x a plus 1 plus b plus 3 minus 1 and x minus 3. is uh, 2 then a minus 1 is 0 and b minus 3 is 2 then a is 1 and b is uh, 5 it is this one is 2 is 2 And this one is corresponding of this, this corresponding. And uh, y equals to minus 2 x plus b plus squared ax2 minus 4x plus 1 a positive and we will define a and b when x goes to plus infinite it is 1 But this is corresponding to minus 2x plus b plus squared a multiplied by x minus 2 divided by a. Then a squared minus 2 is 0 and uh, b minus 2 divided by a is 1 this one a is 4 and here b is half b is uh, 3 half The last example in uh, horizontal asymptote is uh, y equals uh, to 
x minus 5 uh, minus uh, squared ax2 plus bx plus 1 equals to 5 when x goes to plus infinity. And it is is corresponding to x minus five minus a squared x plus b divided by two a and then um, gives us x gives us One minus a squared equals to zero, and uh, five plus b divided by two a equals to minus five. A is one, and here b equals to twenty. Minus 20 equals to minus 20. Okay, you can uh, pause this uh, video to see and calculate by your own and find about that it is correct. Okay. Now we are going to go through the mean mean asymptote, but it is very big, and uh, we are going to have it in uh, next uh, video. See you in next video.